This is Richie Palmer with your hot tip. So when you have patients that are technically difficult and you cannot get a parasternal window long or short, the question is, how do you evaluate the pulmonic valve? Take a look at this view in the apical view and I will show you how you get the pulmonic valve. Starting from the apical four chamber view, move your hand anteriorly to the apical five chamber view. Continue to move downward, 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 looking anterior, and now you can see the pulmonic valve. Color flow of the pulmonic valve in the right ventricular outflow tract seen here. Continuous wave Doppler. Demonstrating pulmonic flow. The second option is using the subcostal window. Standard subcostal window. Take the transducer in the 3 o'clock position, count a clock to 12 o'clock, where you have the aortic valve in your image. You'll see right of the aortic valve is the pulmonic valve, right ventricular outflow tract, and main pulmonary artery. Color flow Doppler. And now continuous wave Doppler of the pulmonic valve. This is your hot tip for today. Now it's your turn.